Welcome back. Ahead of the upcoming polls to elect a new Congress president, seven Congress state, have, state units have passed resolutions urging Rahul Gandhi to become the next chief. The former Congress chief left his position, remember, in 2019 after the general elections debacle and has been categorical in not wanting the post again. But it seems Congress state units are finding it hard to move beyond him. This also comes at a time when, from Shashi Tharu to Manish Tiwari, many senior Congress leaders are coming out in the open, seeking free and fair Congress president polls. Shashi Tharu, in fact, who's expected to be one of the contenders for the top job, met uh, Congress interim chief Sonia Gandhi today. This happened shortly after giving his public approval to a petition seeking reforms in the party. Meanwhile, BJP has lashed out at the Congress saying there's no point in having polls if it's all about Parivar and not performance. The Congress president elections are set to take place on October 17th and the results are supposed to be announced on October 19th. Remember, for the past 24 years, the presidency of the Indian National Congress has remained within the Gandhi family, while the BJP, in comparison, for example, has had 10 different party presidents in the same period. So with the the Congress presidential polls being under the scanner, it is also coming at a time when many rebels in the state are pushing for reforms. They're asking for things like one person, one post, one family, one ticket. These are all resolutions that the Congress itself had made, but had actually given exemptions to the Gandhi family. They also want 50% of the seats to leaders aged below 50. They also want term limits for electoral and party positions. One such petition has been backed, for example, by Shashi Tharoor. Earlier, he was also one of those leaders who had come out and backed the publication of the electoral role so that everybody knows who are the ones who nominate and who are the ones who are going to vote. But is that transparency coming forward? The big question, after all that has gone down about its elections and the president being elected, some known names being thrown around, is the Congress back to the old Raga that only Rahul Gandhi can become the next person. Look, the Samast Congress of the Congress has been a desire for years that Rahul Gandhi Ji will be the best part of the party. Because that is the only one who can ask Narendra Modi to ask him 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 to ask him. Elections are only a bahana. Rahul's coronation hai karana. This is the motto and slogan of the Congress, which is no longer a party, but a parivarik firm and a special purpose vehicle of one family. Today, Mr. Chidambaram says that no matter who is the president of the Congress, Rahul Gandhi will have a pre-eminent position. Actually, the parivar has a permanent position. Let's go across to our guests joining us. Tohin Sinha is from the BJP, Supriya Shinate is from the Congress Party and Sanjay Jha, political analyst formerly with the Congress Party is also joining us. Supriya, when state unit after state unit comes out and passes a resolution that, only Rah that they want Rahul Gandhi to be the next president despite the reality on the ground or everything that has transpired since 2019, does it not send out a message that nobody else has a chance? So I have a... I have a counter question to that argument because I don't simply understand this question. What do you mean by reality on the ground? You are seeing the reality on the ground. He's walking in Bharat Joro Yatra and look at the kind of people who are coming in to join him. So I don't understand this presumption that some of you in the media and of course the opposition like to make. I want to ask you a counter question. No, no, I who didn't make that assumption. The the assumption. No, no, I didn't make that assumption. No, I meant by reality on the ground. Adanya. Supriya, one second. By reality on the ground, I meant that Rahul Gandhi himself doesn't want that role. Right? He has said so in as has many words. Has he told you that? I don't think he's done it an interview with Deepak to tell you that. So you're he saying he's still up for the job. When the time comes and I will and I will convey to you, no, no, no. I will convey to you why I took the decision, when I take the decision, hmm. election happens. I think he said I am not interested. So no, don't misquote him, don't quote him out of context. I am a Congress spokesperson here. For the Congress's point of view and for what Rahul Gandhi has said or not said, I am responsible and please go with my version. That's the first point I want to make. Hmm. The second point I want to make, I'm not somebody who just lives in Delhi and spends her time in television studios. Hmm. I cater to a constituency. I meet 
cross section of people who are all Congress supporters. I want to ask you a counter question. If the Congress supporters want Rahul Gandhi to be their leader, why am I going to change my stance here in a television studio and start advocating for something that I as a Congresswoman don't believe in? I mean, it is for us to decide who our leader will be. Absolutely. I, I'm actually surprised that everybody wants to have a say in this. No, the BJP and television studios cannot have a say in this. No, it's no. quite as simple It's as obviously that. an internal matter of the Congress party. Ultimately, the Congress yeah. party will decide. The question I asked you, though, and I will also that tell you one for thing. there are all, also tell what you is one also a reality thing. is that several of your own leaders are asking for a freer and fair election process. So when state units come out and do this, despite well, let's say reports that Rahul Gandhi is reluctant to take that job again. Does it not send the message that nobody else has a chance? That's the question I asked you. It is not so encouraging competition. A, no, 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 no. One second. I want to ask you a question. Hmm. Who your managing editor will be is a decision that your promoters or your editor in chief or your group CEO is going to take. We don't call it, it an election. To be a internal to Network 18. But one we don't second. call it an one election. Second. It is a selection. No, please wait. It's not. No, please wait. You are saying the Congress now. president is going to be elected. We don't elect a managing editor. That's that's the truth. No, you have to now listen to me. If you've called me on the show, I'm not going to listen to what you preach me. Please listen to what I'm, I'm going to say. I'm not preaching you next. anything at 9, all. 9,000. Yes, go 9, ahead. 9,000. CC delegates, 9,000, not one, not two, not nine, but 9,000 PCC delegates from all across the country vote for this. Hmm. If I as a PCC delegate in UP want to have Rahul Gandhi as my president, why should I forego of my right to pass that resolution I want to ask? And I am an elected PCC delegate. Mm -hmm. I am not somebody who has just come from nowhere and thin air. I had to make, uh, you know, members. Mm -hmm. Booth elected me, then the block committee elected me, and then I became a PCC delegate. PCC delegate is an elected position. I had to get elected for it. I, as one of the 9,000 PCC delegates from all across the country, want Rahul Gandhi to be my leader. Why can't I pass the resolution? Okay, That's one no, thing. I didn't the ask you that question. Why you is... can't pass that resolution? I am only asking the question, what does the message go? Okay, let Sanjay Jha come in. Sanjay Jha, I'll ask you the same question. It's fair that you let me finish on that question. You ask me why, I will tell you why. Because we are the only political party in this country, the only political party who chooses its president through an election. Yes, okay. they have been elected unanimously in the past. And yes, people have contested and then continued to become political secretaries of Mrs. Gandhi, like Mr. Jitin, uh, Jitendra Prasad. But please, I think you have to give us credit. We have an election to elect our president. Okay. Which other party, including the BJP? Well, all parties claim they do, president. barring uh, only a few. But I'll go across to Sanjay Jha now. Sanjay Jha, I'll ask you the same question. Uh, we've had this conversation over a period of years whether the Congress can move beyond a Gandhi, for example, as its leader. In past conversations with you, on me, with me on this show, you have very much said that they should elect somebody else than Rahul Gandhi and let Rahul Gandhi be the voice of the face of the Congress party to take its message across the country. Let the organization which comes as the chief go to somebody else. That may be your personal opinion. But I want to ask you the same question I asked Supriya. When state unit after state unit after state unit, seven today, possibly more tomorrow, pass such a resolution, even if somebody wanted to throw their hat into the ring, they'll be like, there's no point. Shivani, uh, I do believe that the Congress party has a historic opportunity to send out a message to the people of India that, you know, we are here for the long haul. We know that we have taken a lot of rough, bad knocks in the last couple of elections. But we put the interest of the people right in front of the entire agenda before the party. That this is not about self-aggrandizement or it is not about just capturing political power for the sake of it. Uh, in my opinion, the BJP has bludgeoned democracy, destroyed the constitutional values that we stand for, besides fracturing the entire social fabric of our great country. So here is an opportunity for the Congress to make a significant political statement that will be about a resurrection of India and to reclaim what the idea of India is all about. And I you believe, believe that, that message will come from this election, right? I do believe that if this election is not able to capture, you know, what I believe is a narrative building in favor of the party. Hmm. Now, I'll agree with Supriya from the reports I have got from a lot of people, some being Congress friends and 
others from the media, etc., that the Bharat Jodo, Joro Yatra is getting significant traction on the ground. Mm. And in my opinion, any opposition party that undertakes such an arduous you know, walk, I think Rahul Gandhi has to be congratulated for being out there in the middle with the people of the country. I think it can only deliver positive results. Okay. But, and this is a significant point, mm. if the organizational elections you know, create some degree of what I call as you know, either concern on credibility or apprehension in terms of authenticity, that will take away a lot of the tailwind that the Congress is getting. Therefore, I have always been very vocal about it. Hmm. It's a very good step. Supriya is again right in saying, listen, we are doing an election to the best extent possible to elect a president, which is a good thing. Hmm. But, you know, there is a difference between the leadership Number two, about the moral crusader of the party. Remember, Mahatma Gandhi was never holding an executive position in government. He didn't want to. Hmm. He did not want to. But even today remains the greatest icon in India's freedom struggle and of the Congress party. Sajay, why Remember don't you cut to the chase? Are you saying the same thing that, I'm, that I think you're saying? That Rahul Gandhi, that Congress needs to you know, move on from somebody like Rahul Gandhi? You know, my simple answer is, and I'm looking That's at it from the point, you know, I've been a banker before. And I have looked at balance sheets and PNL accounts, and I take a little message from that. Hmm. I believe Rahul is a great ideological mentor and a crusader for the party. Hmm. But when it comes to being, you know, an organizational management issue, I mean, Supriya, I think, is an exceptional spokesperson of the party. There are people who are great in fundraising. Somebody may be a fantastic campaigner. Others are good in okay. social media. Now, to lead them, you need a very different kind of a dynamic in an individual. I think Rahul has done a good job, but there's no harm in handing it over to somebody else. Somebody else. Okay. And if election results haven't worked, try an experiment. Okay. The point also to him that Supriya is making is that ultimately these are resolutions that are being passed by Congress state units. They also have the desire and the authority to, you know, make their voices heard. Then why does the BJP jump on it and say that this is all about one family? Let's say they do want Rahul Gandhi to take over as their next president. Why should anybody have a problem with that? Well, good evening, uh, Shivani. Mm. You know, there's no doubt about it. It always fills up us with joy whenever we get to know that Rahul Gandhi will be the next Congress president. So that that, uh, that can't be disputed. Mm. But the point is, the entire Bharat Jodo Yatra of theirs is laden with deceptive intent. The whole purpose of it was never, you know, to do anything for the country or the party. It was only about securing or further, you know, kind of uh, increasing the stranglehold of the Paribar, including possibly, you know, introducing the next generation of Vadras, which is what one of the posters at the start intended. So why make this pretense? Now, one of the speakers, uh, Sanjay, was talking about the massive, overwhelming support. You are spending 19 days in Kerala where BJP anyway is weak. So uh, you are anyway shying away from BJP. That's point number one. Number two, you know, Supriya was talking about the overwhelming support for Rahul Gandhi. The point is the size of the Congress has shrunk to one-fourth of what it used to be. If you're still happy with that overwhelming support, good luck to you. You should, you know, take Gulam Nabi Azad seriously. You should uh, take data seriously. If you have lost 39 state elections out of 49 under Rahul Gandhi, yes, while we may be excited about the prospect of him becoming the Congress president, you need to introspect. Okay. Supriya, you want to respond? Final comments, please. No. I actually find that very bizarre and rather rich for the BJP, which has never ever had an election for its president, whose president is nothing but a rubber stamp of Amit Shah to lecture us on presidency. That's very rich of the BJP. It's also very rich of the BJP to lecture us on Bharat Jodo Yatra. That's the reality. The problem that you are with the Bharat Jodo Yatra they have is that they're absolutely rattled. Hmm. They're nervous. They first attack where he sleeps, what he wears, who he meets. Now they're coming up with all kinds of stupid conjecturing. You want to keep a very close tab on the Bharat Jodo Yatra? That's what the BJP is doing from the ministers like Smriti Rani lying to Amit Shah obsessing over Mr. Mo you know, Mr. Gandhi's t-shirt. I have a suggestion for you. Double nine, triple nine, eight zero two double zero. Give a missed call on this number, Bharat Jodo Yatra dot in. Join us in this Yatra. Okay. It will help so you in self-discovery. It will help you to discover. It will help you to discover what Can India I... really is. Okay, so in final 30 seconds, please. Shivani, I take us. this Yatra And the one thing seen, that I want to say I very will... categorically, Shivani, you said move on. The Sorry. nation needs to move on from the hatred. 
unemployment and price but rise. But madam, I cannot dictate that to the nation. You take your message to the nation, the nation votes for you. you Fair know, enough. You That's different from electing your own party president. The question whether, no, you also talked about party presidents, for example, in the BJP. The point that I'm making is that the Congress faces the charge that it can only be a Gandhi to lead them. We are not questioning who leads the Congress party. We are just saying after 2019 giving up his position, having Sonia Gandhi as interim chief, you're again going to go back to Rahul Gandhi, then are you not back to square I one? But I've run out of time. Let's so you respond to you. Yes, Shivani, they talk, about, they talk about increasing hatred in the country. I will take them seriously. Even in the 90s days, 19 days that Rahul Gandhi is spending in Kerala, he has the courage to talk against PFI. That is when I will take it. The intent of the okay. government is to see. Otherwise, the only intent is to secure the stranglehold of the family. Okay, I can only say one thing that uh, electing the Congress president is not like selecting our managing editor. If it was, then it's not an election, then it's a selection. I'll just leave it at that. Thank you to all of our guests for joining us. We're slipping into a very short break. On the other side, we'll get you some of the latest updates we're tracking from across the world.